Over the years, Chelsea Clinton has slowly but surely come into her own fashion sense, blossoming from an early loungewear enthusiast into a woman who makes pretty solid sartorial selections. Here's the complete history of her style transformation from childhood until today. When her father Bill Clinton was first running for his eventual seat as the 42nd POTUS, the then 12-year-old Chelsea Clinton was regularly seen sporting her go-to garbs, a simple t-shirt and denim jeans. When she joined her political parents on a trip to Arkansas to await the results of his inaugural election cycle in their home state that night, she stepped off the plane wearing a loose-fitted tee with boyfriend jeans, and her no-fuss, no-muss approach to curl management was on full display. After Bill Clinton was announced as winner of the election, Chelsea ditched her low-key digs for something a little more stately, as she joined her father in accepting his new role as commander-in-chief, and her own as first daughter. Not only did she tame her mane into tighter tendrils, but she also donned a classic plaid coat to match the timelessness of her parents' own ensembles. As time progressed, Chelsea Clinton began to adopt her own sense of style. When she was still just 15, she attended Easter services with her parents at Washington's Foundry Methodist Church, and looked positively ready to enroll in law school, just like her folks once did, in her smart black dress suit with a colored white shirt beneath. On Twitter, Hillary Clinton's bio declares her to be a pantsuit aficionado, among her many other distinctions. Who has the more stylish suits? Ooh, my mom. My mom. All those pantsuits, she definitely deserves Who's credit. However, the former flotus turned presidential candidate isn't the only member of the Clinton family who's big on trotting around in trouser combos. During a trip to New Zealand for the 1999 Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Conference, Chelsea Clinton stepped out in a blazer suit that was so akin to what her mother had been known to wear, it could have easily been borrowed from her closet. When Chelsea and Hillary Clinton headed to Jordan in 1999 for a meeting with its princess and to launch their lengthy European tour, Chelsea maintained her typically professional aesthetic, but her button-up sweater had just enough sewn-in ornamentation to make it just as appropriate for taking tea as it was for a meeting with royalty. Versatility is key when you're on the move, right? While attending a tennis match at the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, Australia, Chelsea Clinton repped a lot more sass with her look than usual, including an arm-bearing blouse and knee-length pencil skirt. The real kicker of the ensemble, though, was the rad pair of sunglasses she wore that made the then-student of Stanford University look like the cool college kid that she was at the time. Once Chelsea Clinton enrolled in graduate school at Oxford, she began to experiment with a new do and debuted some newly straightened and lightened locks, as seen at the 2002 premiere of Red Dragon. At the time, Clinton was rubbing elbows with fashion bigwigs like Donatella Versace and pop culture icons such as Madonna, which might have inspired such a bold change to her signature appearance. Whatever it was, though, the frizz-free look was there to stay. Chelsea Clinton's modesty modality never went by the wayside, but she did start to cycle in some key accoutrements to her outfits, like with a savvy neck scarf that perfectly complemented her brown blazer during her father's 2004 speaking event at the Little Rock Arts Center. She also earned some major snaps for subtly coordinating with her mom's similarly earth-toned getup at the event. By the time Chelsea Clinton had reached her mid-twenties, her look had evolved from relatively matronly to outright ravishing, as with the flattering skirt suit she wore to the opening of Bill Clinton's presidential library in Arkansas in 2004. Her classically curled coif was the perfect fit for the scalloped color of her pretty little blazer, and the fact that she matched it with a nervy leather skirt for such a high-profile affair was all the more exciting. When Chelsea Clinton hit the trail in support of her mother's first bid for the hot seat in 2008, she rocked a variety of jackets. But this incredible penny-colored corduroy coat with a mandarin collar stood out for its simple splendor, and could have easily taken attention away from the woman of the hour on stage. 
whenever she's called to the red carpet. As with her 2009 gala appearance in New York, there's a good chance Chelsea Clinton will be showing up in a little black dress. There are examples of plenty of her penchant for the definitive dress style. And her fresh pairing of a tank blouse with a frilly A-line skirt and round heels is a prime example of why we love when she opts for an LBD during a night on the town. Chelsea Clinton has gotten professional wear down to a strict science during her time in the spotlight, but she's also gotten a clear handle on what works for her, as evidenced by this amazing ensemble she put together for the School of American Ballet's Winter Ball in 2012. Her stacked deep red necklace was just the right touch and size to give the look the exact pop it needed, while remaining squarely within her comfort zone. Well played indeed. For Hillary Clinton's second run for the Oval Office, Chelsea Clinton, then a new mom herself, was once again busy supporting her mom's bid. For her sweet speech at the 2016 Democratic National Convention, she took the stage in a form-fitting red Roland Moray dress that had the press buzzing about her trendy threads, especially since the same frock had been sported in light pink by none other than Ivanka Trump at the Republican National Convention. Looking back at the biggest moments of Clinton's style evolution, it's clear she's been in for quite some time. After the outcome of the 2016 presidential race, the Clintons took some time to grieve the loss, but have since picked themselves up and seem to be doing just fine. She emerged boldly from her family's loss in style, making appearances in bright colors and patterns, a shift from her prior outfits, which leaned toward neutral and classic. She grabbed our attention with the look she sported at Variety's Power of Women event in April 2017, and hasn't let go. Straying from her bold look at the Variety's Power of Women event in 2017, she toned it down a bit for the April cover of the magazine. In a fitted black jacket with zipper details, white t-shirt, and dark blue jeans, she looked laid back, but still every bit a powerful woman. Variety's behind-the-scenes video interview with Clinton was similarly relaxed. Wearing the same outfit as she did on the shoot, she kept her makeup minimal and her hair down. Because Clinton has been wearing her hair straight for so long, you may have forgotten how curly her hair used to be. Back in 2015, she told Elle that her curls naturally fell into waves in her early 20s, and admitted that she missed her ringlets. In the past, Chelsea Clinton didn't shy away from bold patterns. While she still rocks a colorful print here and there, you'll often see her in a solid-colored ensemble these days. In May 2018, when Clinton attended the annual American Songbook Gala to honor HBO's Richard Plepler, she chose a fitted forest green dress paired with nude pumps. Later that year, Clinton attended a Sirius XM town hall wearing what looked to be those same nude pumps. However, this time, she opted for a lower-cut black dress with ruffle detail on the bodice. When promoting her children's book, Start Now, You Can Make a Difference, on the Hallmark Channel later in the year, she again wore a solid dress in a deep magenta color, proving that one-color outfits are anything but boring. In 2018, she finds predicted that a monochromatic style would be the biggest trend the following year. It looks like Clinton was simply ahead of the curve. In an interview on The View in April 2019, Chelsea Clinton rocked her classic nude pumps once more, but this time she paired the heels with a similarly hued dress. Clinton, who announced in January 2019 that she and husband Mark Mesvinsky were expecting their third child, donned a stunning, fitted blush pink dress. Around this time, Vogue reported that a bevy of nude shades, or 50 shades of beige, would be one of the most important trends of the spring 2019 season. Clinton surely got the memo. She even added an unexpected pop of color to the neutral color palette, a cobalt blue cardigan. And it works. Like many people who found themselves living a slower-paced lifestyle during the 2020 pandemic, Chelsea Clinton adopted more relaxed fashion choices that year. Her laid-back business casual look could be seen in interviews and TV appearances carried out by a video call. For example, during a virtual appearance on The Tonight Show in September 2020, Clinton appeared in a simple navy blue top. So it just, like, was a, a magical a time together. The outfit seemed to be the same one she wore in an appearance on The View that aired the day before. 
as well as one seen in a CNN appearance in August. That's not the only outfit Clinton repeated in 2020. In March, she appeared in person on Story in the Public Square, wearing a floral top under a gray blazer. Clinton was seen wearing the same top, sans blazer, months later in an appearance at the Virtual National Book Festival in September, and again during a virtual appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen the following month. Clinton wore minimal makeup in 2020 and also adopted a relaxed hairstyle, wearing her hair down with natural waves in all of the appearances she made from her home. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite public figures are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.